Hi everyone, welcome back to another segment of Five Minute Tea with a CBE. Today we're going to be joined by Natalia, who is our CBE of the month. Uh, Natalia is going to talk to us a little bit about uh, how she teaches and incorporates technology into her lessons, specifically um, on the topic of language learning. And Natalia has also recently taken an ELL course that was offered for our CBEs or Certified Brain Pop Educators. So she's going to tell us a little bit about the strategies that she's learned in that course and how she's put them into practice. So we are going to um, give her a call. And as always, if you have any questions for her, comment below. Um, and even after the fact, she can help you out. She is on her way. Um, also, in the meantime, if you are an ELL teacher or you incorporate language learning in your classroom, let us know and let us know strategies that you use and strategies that you would like to hear more about. We're hearing from her now. Oh, she's trying to join us. Maybe we can just give her a call. I'm gonna send her this link again. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm excellent, thank you. Are you in your office right now? I am taking my lunch break. That's awesome. Well, I'm so glad that you were able to spare five minutes to join us today. Absolutely. Uh, I was just telling our viewers that you're going to tell us a little bit about your experience with the ELL course and then also how you're putting that into practice. Could you maybe expand on that? Absolutely. I was so excited to join the uh, certification for the ELL program. Uh, we just finished that one with uh, Brian Betts, and I stole a couple of his ideas, and I pick a little bit of his brain to use with the classroom. So I just uh, started working a couple of weeks ago with a fifth grade class. I'm a tech integrator here in my district. And I help uh, students and teachers incorporating technology in their classroom. So what we did is that we were they were studying cycles of the earth. So we took the uh, water cycle. And this class is a dual language class. Um, so science is, is taught in Spanish. Okay. So we did the brain pop movie and we talk about the water cycle. So I want to find activities that were incorporating language and content at the same time, since sometimes it's very difficult. So we did the movie, we talk about it. And then, um, I remember that Brian introduced us to, uh, picture dictionaries. So he had it on paper, and because I'm a tech integrator, I wanted to use an electronic device. So we use uh, Google Classroom, and what we did is that we push it through Google Classroom. Uh, I create a um, slide presentation, and the kids, I'm gonna show it to you, were able to use pictures. They were adding uh, the words in Spanish. I don't know if you guys can see it, and after that, they needed to find pictures that represent that word. So that was something they did. They also um, did their own pictures. So they drew it in Google Drawings. So that was pretty exciting, um, as you can see here. So they could have find pictures or draw their own pictures. So they really, really like it. So another thing that we did, um, to assess a little bit of the knowledge and how they interpret the vocabulary and also the content, uh, we did a little bit of coding. Ooh. So they were working on their coding. So here is one of the of my uh, students. And she created a museum. And it's so cute because they did it in Spanish. Oh, that's awesome. So look at that. So um, yeah, I know. So. Um, that's a way for me to check that they actually were using the correct language. Mm -hmm. um, 
And, you know, it's important to have the, that academic language, the tier three, tier, uh, yeah, tier two, tier three language for the kids. So they were really hard. And we are actually just about to leave for a spring break. So when we come back, we are actually kind of bridging to English. And we are going to make a movie oh, with Brain Pop. So we are excited about that. Can you tell us a little bit more about what that movie project is going to look like? Yes. The prompts that you're going to use. So that's going to be more like my summative assessment of the unit, where we the kids are going to be showing us everything that they learn and they incorporate. And sometimes it's very difficult, and kids are shy to be presenting in front of people. Or you know, I want to assess all the domains, not only the writing, not only the speaking. And I think like sometimes when making a movie, you can assess all of them and kids are more free to you know incorporate everything that they know and they are more loose when they're working in a, that type of assessment kids are so tired of you know their regular assessment with pencil and, and and pen and all that so it's very exciting for them um so we're going to be working these are projects that usually take us a little longer i usually uh visit these classes once a week so that's the reason it takes us a little longer i'm not in one school i'm in five different schools so that make it uh the process to be a little longer but they get really excited because something new something that they can use technology and again incorporate they, their knowledge that's awesome i really like how you're giving your students ownership over mm -hmm. how they want to show what they know and how they choose to show what they know um mm -hmm. and that coding project that you showed us earlier was that a water cycle topic that you Yes. So it was a water cycle just because uh, we were studying cycles of the earth. So water cycle was a very important. And they were comparing also uh, the quantity of water in the human body and the quantity of water in the planet earth. So that was something really cool. Something that I forget to add to is like, um, it was super cool for us because we use uh, extra reading, one of the extended readings from Brain Pop, and that was something that we could print. So when we are working in the small groups, if we don't have technology for everybody, there are so many resources that are actually printable, downloadable, that the kids can work on, and then you know have a small group that is working with computers. That's a really great point because mm -hmm. you know everyone has limited access or different access to technology. <laughs> so, and you work in different schools, so you have to accommodate that as well. Um, and I really liked how you showed us an example today of how you're encouraging vocabulary building in a different language while learning content at the same time. So you integrated the science that you're doing about earth systems with the vocabulary, vocabulary that you're learning in Spanish. That was and we want to do it in a fun way, just because again, uh, sometimes the kids are overwhelmed. It's been a long stretch for us since our spring break is just about to start at the end of April. So it's real sorry about the announcements. Um, so it's really, really exciting for them. It's a way for them to express their creativity as well. So That's awesome. Thank you so much for taking some time during your lunch break today and yeah. talking to us about what you're doing in your classroom. And if any of you have questions for Natalia, just comment below and she'll get back to you. And if there's more that you would like to see, let us know so that we can incorporate into our future videos. So on that happy note, we'll do a little cheers to the afternoon. Cheers. Yes. <laughs> and I love your little Moby Cup creation that you created. Thank you. I always need to have Moby by me. <laughs> and kids love it too. <laughs> That's so great. Well, have, enjoy the rest of your day. And we'll Thank see you in our CBE community. Online. You guys too. Thank you so much for the opportunity. All right. See so you guys later. Bye-bye.